Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Lina. Well, I am on a binge painting of wild ladies until I kind of hit one of the tones that I want to see if I can create. And this, guys, this little painting here, I got so close to the expression that I want to achieve, but I was too scared or too... Uh, of a nice painter, I guess, to achieve it on the three other faces that I have made this uh, week. Well, check this out. W what I want to achieve is, is some wildness, something uh, patchy, um, like a quilted face just with color splotches. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go crazy from the beginning and then <laughs> plunge right into an ugly stage because... Um, one of my strong forces is that I'm good at recovering from a mess. Like, uh, I'm good at rescuing stuff. I'm not so good at planning <laughs> and doing it like I'm supposed to do. So most of my best paintings is uh, because I got into trouble midway or even in the beginning, actually. And then just spent the rest of the painting session trying to recover, to rescue, to correct <laughs> So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to give myself this starting point that's impossible to recover from because then I really get super creative. So I think that's uh, the madness in the, the recipe of, of this painting right here, and I'm going to use it going forward. I'm going to give myself <laughs> the most impossible starting point because... In the end, it just gives a product that's super interesting for me to look at. And um, yeah, I know it sounds like super selfish, but I'm doing this challenge for myself. You know, like for me, um, I'm doing it together with Kathy Arbor, but <laughs> I got like very personal uh, reasons for for doing this because I want to learn and expand and stuff. So um, yeah, what made this so good? Oh, it's that I wanted that imposter look where you have applied a lot of paint and where the paint become more than her skin. It becomes an expression of her state of mind. Um, yeah, it sounds a little bit abstract, but <laughs> I, I want that wild um, expression, but still make it feminine so it's not like clumsy wild. It, it, it must not look like I've been standing just throwing paint on the canvas from five feet away, you know, like just what happened happens. It's not like that. It's it's like still a little bit controlled, but in the end, because it's not neat and, and petite, <laughs> it uh, comes out with a personality expression of the face that I'm painting. So I think I actually achieve to uh, bring some life into her and some um, uh, passion in <laughs> in the way that I did the skin tones. And you know what? I, I did a lot of things that I'm not used to do. Like, look at that black I add underneath the eyes and stuff. It would be like, how can you recover from that? How can you... <laughs> How can you rescue it? You can't, right? So you have to work with it. And I think that's just so super interesting. So uh, definitely, I think I am a step closer to the expression that I am looking for. And honestly, I cannot wait to paint tomorrow. <laughs> because now I feel that, oh, I... Uh, I touched ground on something that was likable and uh, you know you are on the right track when time is just flowing by and this painting just flew. It was like one uh, effortless uh, inspirational painting session. I really enjoyed it and I think what, what I, why I enjoyed it so much is because uh, look at how I'm applying colors. I am not going mad, but I am totally free. Like, oh, I want some red here. Uh, red is my favorite color. <laughs> so <laughs> why not just use a lot of red? Um, normally I would not uh, do like that. Uh, and, and then, oh my God, I managed to put that 
perfect spatula highlight on her nose tip that looks like it's running, like going to drip off her nose. And I really love that detail because the nose is supposed to be this 3D element poking out of the painting. So uh, just the fact that it looks like paint is almost going to slide off the tip of her nose is just <laughs> like really yummy for me to look at. Really yummy. <laughs> So, yeah, of all the paintings I've done in this painting challenge so far, I think this is my absolute favorite. Um, also because it was a joy to make it. And, um, yeah, there's not much else to say other than, isn't it funny how you can you can create a lot of things? And then it seems not like a task, but... Not like a, a chore, but it's something you started. I'm a finisher, right? I uh, I rarely start a, pro a project and then just let it become a UFO. I return to things and finish them off. And I very rarely crumple up a piece of paper, throw it out, and <laughs> start all over. I really try to struggle and work my way through it. So, yeah, so I, I think this painting here just... Um, showed me a, a tiny pathway of a highway that I should follow. Oh my god, look at it! Isn't it just vivid and beautiful? Okay, I'm running out of time. Oh, have a nice day. Bye-bye!